Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Friday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis, and I'm so happy that you could join me here. I'm. It's been um, a little bit since I've uh, broadcasted because I was in Europe, and I'm so excited to be back and totally inspired. And but when I was away, the studio got some gifties. That's what we call them presents. <laughs> presents that I've paid for but presents nonetheless because they come in big boxes and we can unwrap them <laughs> so presents of new stencils and new paints and all kinds of fun things and new stamps and so I have just been bombarded not only with the inspiration of course from Europe but all the stuff that's coming in and I just can't wait to play um, I'm going to be using today um, some stamps by Catherine Scanlon these are Catherine Scanlon designs this is, I love this one that she has done. She is beautiful artwork. I love her stuff. I'm so proud that she's got these stamps and I've brought in the, her entire line. Um, they are with Art Gone Wild. Um, please feel free to Google her and take a look at the artwork. And then of course, uh, my online store has them and I know you can probably get them at your local store as well. But I highly, highly recommend you take in a peek because aren't they cool? I love all the doodles and things in there. I. And so inspired just by looking at it. And I'm seeing in the chat too, I want to play with the high flow. Oh my gosh, the golden high flow acrylics. I can't, I'm so excited to play with those too. Totally. We'll do something with the high flow on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to play with Catherine's stamps. And I have my silks here because I've missed my silks. Um, my silks from Luminar. And I'm going to use this stamp as my etched inspiration for my plastered luminescence. And you guys know I do my plastered luminescence class and I am gonna be teaching it next weekend in Edmonton. So there won't be um, a broadcast Friday because I will be in Edmonton, but um, I think I'm gonna to have to do a fill in. I'll, maybe if there's a day that I can do a broadcast, a spur of the moment broadcast, I will do that and I'll tweet you all and let you know what's happening. Hello, Dixie Doodles, hello. Um, so, I am needing to get everything together for Edmonton. And so I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to play around with this. And I, as soon as I saw this stamp that Catherine had designed, I thought, oh my God, wouldn't that be awesome etched into plaster? So that's what I've done is I've plastered a board and I am going to paint it now with the silks and just have some fun. So I'm like, yahooey. So silks, I... I have etched it in. I've painted this is gesso on top of it. So we're working on a black surface. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to paint and chat and see what else is going on. What else is happening out in the world there, girls? I'm like needing really to mix that. That looks really thick. Hold on. I've got um, this plumeria. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> oh, I'm the silks <clears throat> needed to be stirred. So, give it a good little stir there. Ah, there we be. So I'm gonna put this uh, the stamp design there so you can see it. Can you see the etching okay in the camera? I know that I'm working on a black surface, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. And I'm just going to go in and paint with the silks on my black gesso. I love the silks on black. I find I think they're like magnificent. Look at that color, just popping. Oh, I wish you could see it really pop. It's popping here in person. No, 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 no. Can you see that? Hey, Karma. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. Who else is on there? Sh um, shabbing. Great picture tonight. Oh, good. I'm glad there is. All these years. Do do. Oh, I got a little bit in there. All right, so where else do I want to do some of this? And so again, this is the image that I'm working with here. I think maybe I'll put some pink up in this area too. I am trying to avoid the uh, crevices there because I want them to remain black. 
no 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 can't you just see this stamp and with your watercolors too like that would be like oh totally cool no 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 you're not the one for me mm -hmm. uh oh phoebe do you don't have sound i think they have sound they've answered me I saw Phoebe today. She came in and got a magazine. Have you had a chance to read it yet, Phoebe? <laughs> I really like this pink. My first layer. Sometimes you just want to have some inspiration from something else. It's one of the things I love about stamps. And I'm going to do my thirds, right? So I'm going to have another pink one just to balance it. And I'm just trying to see where... Doo, doo, doo. You, oh good glad you have your sound back thanks phoebe i think i i just was so inspired when i saw these i just love them these stamps so Catherine, if you're watching kudos love them <laughs> um all right maybe i'll put one up here too just fill in an empty square can you guys see that okay? And I think I want this one too. Why not? So I'm kind of going from the outside and pulling it down. Do, 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 do. It's not wood. Um, it's not wood. It's a cling stamp. Catherine Scanlon designs. So, I, ugh. where's the actual stamp? Here's the actual stamp. Red rubber. Red rubber. Okay. So, I want like a yellow too. Where's my where's solar gold? That's a nice bright gold, actually. Let's put that in there. Oh, looks like the solar gold. I need another solar gold. Oh, sorry, guys. I almost took, I'm, I am um, trying really hard to keep that light right there so that you can see everything. And um, of course I trip on it. <laughs> there we go. It is on a plastered canvas that I have etched. I stamped the image onto my plaster and then etched it. So I'm just wanting to throw some color on here. No, it's not clay. It's it's um, spackling, actually, plaster. One, two, three, four, five. Um, 
I am loving that solar gold. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Like it's brilliant. Look at that. He knows what I see. So this is plastered luminescence. Yes, it is. It's a plastered luminescence piece. So when um, when I teach the class, we talk about um, carving it and the tools and all that other stuff. So I we I have done it with a couple of different ways. I have um, sealed the plaster and the luminate and the luminescence <laughs> with um, self leveling gel, the golden self leveling gel. But I've also been taken to um, to seal it with resin lately, and I really love that look. So um, I'm going to probably try to do that again today. Just going to turn this to the side. And I want to do a couple of these little blocks in the sun. Na, 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 na. Probably put another color over top of this gold as well in certain areas just to get some depth. Just so you guys know I like to use multiple um, colors on things. There's another blank one right here, so I think I might fill that in. It's beautiful and bright. Yes, it is. And luminescent. <laughs> um, I actually think I want another one. I think maybe I'll go back up here. So I see you. All night long. That's probably good for now. Oh, I keep going here. I think I got to my hand just keep wants to go in this area. So might as well take it there. So I'm just painting the raised parts, the stuff that I etched out. I'm not touching. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. All right, solar gold made me happy. I'm gonna throw some key lime down too. I'm running pretty low on key lime. You know I like this color when I'm like right at the bottom of it. <laughs> Let's see what I've got here. So I'm just trying to decide what colors I want to use and I'm going over it very, very lightly so that um, the places that I finely etched will hopefully stay black. So has everybody got the back to school thing? If you have kids all sorted out, back into routine again. I hope so. There, can you see the, can you, I, I didn't do a fantabulous job at etching, but can you see all of the stuff in there? It looks kind of neat. Yay! Whoa! Oh, how I love this stuff. <laughs> and 
And I think I'm going to do this long one here, this viney looking one. I guess they're all pretty vines, aren't they? This one. Oops, sorry. This one. Hi, Brenda. How are you doing? I have to turn it around so that I can get the delicate areas in there. There we go. So one thing about doing this on Ustream and not on a, um, like a regular video, I can't fast forward this. So I hope you guys are enjoying watching me paint. <laughs> box this in in the green. Do that section there. Of course, that's why you come watch live. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Thanks, Phoebe. I missed you too. I really did. I really miss you guys. <clears throat> Actually, I'm wondering if I'm going to. I think I'll highlight in the ginger peach, but I'm going to use the apricot nectar as my under one. I'm like almost out of this one too, believe it or not. Alright, so I'm just kind of getting my brush ready here. That looks kind of neat. Oh. <laughs> I just was reading what Phoebe wrote, um, that she's happy that I had a great time on my trip and so happy that I got back safely and that I kept my promise. A fun and safe trip. Yes, definitely. You know what? I was so thrilled to be able to share that with my daughter. Like, I'm so happy that we did that. You know, I think if you can, go and, ex and enjoy your children while you can. As I say, mine just started grade 12. I can't believe Emily is in grade 12 this year. So, you know, I don't have that many more opportunities to really spend one-on-one -on -one time with her. So, this was lovely and I thank my husband very much for encouraging me to do this and helping me find the funds <laughs> isn't that always the way <laughs> but I've always said you know it whether it's with art or with life or you know some people like to read and some people like you know um I don't know, go to the gym. Some people, it all depends. We do and we make time and we find ways to do what we want to do. I think that was true in this case as well. You know, we find time to make 
we find time to do what we want to do. And we make priorities in our lives. And each one is as different as, as you, really. That got really, like, deep, but <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> Your baby started grade 11? See, like, seriously. In grade 7? <laughs> Hello, Watson. How are you? Thank you for joining us. And yes, thank you, Brenda, for tweeting. And Darcy, hello. Yes, very deep. <laughs> yeah, like some electronics. See, it's the same thing. Miss M is awesome. Thank you, Karma. Yes, for those of you who um, didn't know, I did get a chance to to meet Karma. She came and um, we met in London when before we took the train over to Paris. So we had we had tea. It was very nice to meet you, Karma, and your kids. They're fantastic. Yes, Phoebe, I know you like deep. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't want to go too far. I think maybe I am going to choose a different green. I think I'll choose olive vine. Oh, is that a new? That's a new olive vine. Woohoo! How did that get in my stash? Cool. Usually I have to go <laughs> and pick it out of my stash. All right. I'm just going to go right up this section here. La 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 la. And I think I'm even going to go down. Why not? <laughs> and I think I'm just going to fill it in. Now, I'm just trying to decide, guys, what should I do around the, um, around the edge? What color? Or should I leave it? I'm trying to decide. And there's a section right here that can be olive vine. Love olive vine. I think I have all the sections done now. I just need to go in and highlight. Um, but um, do I leave the outside? Does it look stained glass? I think I'll probably end up framing it. So whatever I do, I probably could just leave it. Um, all right, ginger peach, you got to know that's coming. Your witch, your comatose, oh, stop your comatose kids. They were lovely. You always default to purple. <laughs> Did you guys watch the, have you guys seen Donna Downey's blog, um, this week? Well, she's been in Australia, um, Bill did a Inspiration Wednesday, and then they posted uh, uh, about the studio that was um, oh for how Stephen. Oh my God, why why did his uh, name just escape me there? I can't imagine why. I love Stephen. So Stephen did a really out there fun thing with um, <laughs> about the studio, and then today was Melissa, and Melissa did a, a journal page, and where she said that purple is the new teal. <laughs> I'm killing myself laughing. Can I draw a vine around the edge? I could, Kim, but I don't know if I want to. My God. And Bill, I, I, he was killing me. I'm like I'm laughing my head off. So um, I'm just going around the outside edge now with ginger peach because this time, this way I can get like a two-tone effect. Do you see that? Um. So Bill is coming to the studio um, in a couple weeks with Donna when she comes here to take classes at my studio here in Cambridge. Uh, Bill is coming with her, so I, I've, I've got a rasm. I've got to do something crazy. If you guys have any ideas, I am all for listening. <laughs> like, seriously? The, I was 
dying of laughter. <laughs> All right, so there's, I'll do a little bit more on one side than the other, of course. <laughs> little touch of ginger peach anywhere I, that I had the orange that's what I'm doing and there's another place I had it too but oh right here because I like having a two-tone I really do and when it's lumen um, when we get the resin on it'll punch it even more so it's another reason why I like doing that. La la la. You were thinking the same thing that I had. To, you gotta get. Um, I gotta give him a wig. Is that what you just said? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be until he. <laughs> Phoebe just wrote. For those of you who are watching the recording, I wouldn't want to be her husband when she finds out how much cobalt teal he used. <laughs> love it. Hey, how are you, Terry? <laughs> You're, fi oh. Okay, so Darcy says I should color his lunch with blue food coloring and serve a blue plate with a blue napkin all using the coma <laughs> and blue Kool-Aid to drink. Because <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> It was a lot of cobalt teal. I know. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. <laughs> he says, and look at it pop. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still laughing. Like, how bad is that? All right. I have some golden nugget here, too. Uh, but that's just the powder. And I could mix it. Let me see if I have something already mixed in a silk form. Hmm. Oh, God, see, I kept picking up ginger peach. Oh, mandarin citrine. Again, that's a perfect element, a primary element. Okay, you know what? Do I have any clear here? Ooh, I think I might be doing some... Um, is that a clear medium? Okay. I am going to put some clear medium, some clear silks on my palette and mix in. This is the primary element, sorry, woohoo, uh, which is the powder form. Now I'm going to move some of that over here because I don't need a ton of either color. And in this section, I'm going to mix the mandarin citrine because look at that beautiful, beautiful lemon color. And that might really like that. What was my favorite part of the trip? Um, my favorite, I, do you know what? I honestly don't have a favorite part of the trip. And I know that might sound like a cop out, <laughs> but I don't. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed um, a little something from every place that we were at. Um, you know what? I really love the uh, shop and do when I met Ransa. I really liked that. It was a neat place. And um, and doing the whole nine and three quarters thing at King's Cross Station. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Like I, that was a highlight for me. That and, um, and believe it or not, another thing from London, I, we caught the uh, changing of the guard. And the changing of the guard, I've never seen that. So that was wonderful. We just happened to be there like literally because we were only in the country for 18 hours <laughs> so we were like at buckingham palace and oh look it's changing of the guards so it was it was it was fun it was a highlight and then when we got to paris i tell you standing in front of those beautiful works of art um yeah it just blew my it blew my mind 
I literally had tears in my eyes standing at the Dorsey Museum looking at Starry Night. And then to go to the Orangerie and see, I, I, you guys know, I, Picasso is my favorite artist and I'm not sure so much if it's because of his art or the fact that he did absolutely everything, <laughs> like landscapes, still life, nudie patooties, portraits. And he kind of flitted around in his art life, just kind of like I flit around in mine. And maybe that's in my own little world. I kind of gravitate to that because I don't feel so weird. Because <laughs> he's weirder than I was. <laughs> and much more talented. But anyway, um, <laughs> um, I love this is um, Celadon. Celadon. I'm really liking the look of that too. So I'm going to use it. So it was something else. I can't tell you. It was absolutely beautiful to see the, those works of art in person. And that will never, I'll never lose that. I can sit and oh my gosh, the orangery to sit in, in the water lilies in the middle of uh, Monet's masterpiece. And like, honestly, it was so peaceful, so serene. Then, oh my heaven, <clears throat> Venice has got to be the most beautiful city I have, I have been in. We had such a wonderful time walking around and getting lost. And <laughs> we were never really lost, but um, just discovering little bits of Venice. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> um, we bought some uh, Murano glass on Murano, and we bought Burano, uh lace and Burano. <laughs> and, you know, gorgeous. Like, I, it was so, the shopping there was absolutely phenomenal. And um, I just adore it. <laughs> So then the train ride through Tuscany, oh my Lord, see again, another highlight. And seeing all of the uh, sunflower uh, fields and just going through those rolling hills and the mountains and going through to, uh, honestly, beautiful. <clears throat> and Rome, honestly, I wasn't sure what I would think about Rome, but we, we really, really enjoyed our tours. And, um, I can't say enough about the people. Uh, if you ever want a tour recommendation, I'm happy to give one to you. Um, we had a wonderful time. Um, we had a semi-private tour of the Colosseum, and then um, and then we we went to Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius, and that was my daughter's highlight was climbing Mount Vesuvius. I loved Pompeii, like. Words can't describe just how wonderful of a trip we had. It was great. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Karma. <laughs> how she met me instead of you. Oops. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, it was absolutely phenomenal. I don't know how many pictures I'll end up posting, but I will probably post some. I'm really liking this celadon, which is why I'm kind of adding it to more than I thought I would. Can you guys see that? This is this is looking really beautiful, actually. Um, I do want, I think maybe I'll get some purple just because. <laughs> eat, pray, love. Yes, eat, love, pray. Absolutely. Do you know what? It was fantastic. Are you? Do you know what? She says she's reading it right now. Shabby is reading it. it. It was just so wonderful. So wonderful. I have some boysenberry here. I think I'm going to go over that plumeria with boysenberry. A little bit of purple. Just in some sections right around these. There we go. Behind. So I am kind of jet setting a little bit because I'm getting back from my holiday, but I'm I'm going to Edmonton as as I said earlier in the broadcast. I know some people weren't right here, um, so next week I won't be broadcasting on a Friday, but I might tweet 
<clears throat> with the surprise one. Because I'll be doing some playing. I know I will because of all this stuff that's come in here. And so maybe I'll, I'll broadcast a surprise broadcast. But um, next week I'll be in Edmonton. So uh, I'm teaching at the Creative Stitches show out in Edmonton, Alberta. So if you're out that way, come on by. Love to see you. Come take a class. This one, like I'm teaching um, plaster luminescence. There, I think that looks pretty good. Can you guys see in the... I bet you the book's much better than the movie of Eat, Pray, Love. Jillian, Jillian's had the feeling of tears in her eyes when looking at paintings, too. Ah, I hear you. Very cool. <laughs> that is your highlight. Karma says that I educated. She asked me when we were out for tea, what, what the heck is a double-double? <laughs> And I had to tell her what a double double is. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, a double double is two creams, two sugar in a coffee. Double double. Okay. Um, I'm just tr looking to see if there's anything else I want to punch up. Maybe I'll take some pink azalea and just kind of. Just kind of like a like a little stipple effect in there too. That would be good. I like that actually. So I have the three pinks and purples. Ooh, maybe it can look like blossoms on these branches here. Kind of like what she's done be able to kind of mimic that with the paint. That'd be cool. Wah, 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 wah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pearlescent stuff on black is awesome. Yes, Timmy's. All right, so is there anything that I need to punch or am I good with this now? Did we decide on if I'm doing anything on the outside edge or if I'm leaving it? If I did the gold around the outside, that might be nice. Do the solar gold. Um, or do I do it a warmer color and do like a ginger peach? <laughs> Duncan's. So maybe some ginger peach. Okay, I'm going to put it to you guys. Ginger peach or solar gold around the outside edge. <laughs> I'm, think I'm personally thinking ginger peach, but I'm not sure what it is. Your vote's to leave it. Ginger peach. Phoebe says leave it. Rancis says ginger peach. Anyone else? Opinions? Going, going, because I know there's a little lag, so I'm going to wait a second. Leave it. Looks like stained glass as it is. Yeah, but I would still leave the um I'd still leave the lines that are here too. Leave it. <laughs> Heart of hearts, hello, by the way. Okay, well I could leave it. I can't take it off once it's down, so Yeah, I could leave it. Okay, I'm leaving it. 
<laughs> All right, just kind of wiping off my brush. For those of you who watched my um, my broadcast when I was at Art Waves, I'm doing the fold over and pull, <laughs> not the hula. <laughs> I loved her. She's awesome. <laughs> I know she was going to mail that out to, I uh, forget who the winner was now, but I hope you got it. All right, let's put some of these silks back in the bin. Dry this and get some resin. Okay. Yeah, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so I just have some. I just have some Envirotex light here. Um. You know what though? I really don't want much and because I don't want much I think I'll use the ice resin only because I don't have to worry about measuring it because I still have a thingy about ice resin here so I think I'm going to do that. Not the hula! <laughs> yes it was somebody in Australia. I know she mailed it out to her. All right, so I am just going to get my gloves on. I love my Envirotex light, but um, just because I only need a very, very small portion, I think I'll just use this ice resin here. Dokie. and I have a little plastic cup and I am going to squeeze in enough to cover this <laughs> okay it would help if I cut the end off <laughs> nobody was watching nobody was telling me I can't believe I just did that. Duh me. Hold on one sec. Yeah, it says cut the nozzle. I just couldn't do it. Hmm. Maybe if I try these scissors. <sighs> it's Friday. <laughs> there we go. There. There it goes. Yay. Good Lord. What am I doing? You're not familiar with it? I'm using resin. So this is a two-part resin epoxy. So there's a hardener and then uh, the resin is in here. Because it's in this lovely little medical experiment <laughs> syringe, it will push out, it will push out equal equal amounts of 
resin and hardener so I don't have to do any measuring. So I'm just going to try to get rid of some of this air that's in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the resin so that um, it will protect the plaster. That's probably good. the lid on just while I'm doing this. I have a throwaway stick and I'm just going to mix it. I'm not going to whip it because I don't want to create a lot of bubbles but I think I might need some more than that. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I will. I'm going to need some more. So I'm just kind of mixing it in and then I am going to take a foam brush and I am going to, or it doesn't matter, just a chip brush, something that you can throw away and brush this on the uh, canvas. Hello, Artie Dar. So I'm just going to, I've mixed that, I'm just kind of folding it over folding it over onto itself to mix it. There we go. So I'm not whipping it. I'm not beating eggs. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm just going to let that sit for a second. And I am going to just give a little shot to my pieces. I want to make sure that the paint is dry. Whip it good not. No, no whipping. Whip it good. No. Hi, Moonlit Rose. That looks pretty dry. We'll know in a minute if it's not. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna pour, slowly pour the resin kind of in the middle of the canvas. Oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. And I'm just going to use my brush and just brush it out towards the edges very lightly. Resin is self-leveling, so it's going to get into all those cracks and everything that I had etched earlier, and it's going to protect the plaster. You know what? I could probably use more. After all that, I probably could have used more. And can you see how it's... Um, magnifying everything underneath like it's awesome and this will give a beautiful shiny glow and it will make it look like glass it really will which is part of the reason why I wanted to do this technique when I saw that stamp Catherine's stamp I went oh my god that would <laughs> it's just like perfect it kind of lends itself to that whole stained glass look doesn't it Oh, yes, the trip was good. Thanks, Star. I'm going to end up using that whole syringe, for heaven's sake. Now, there are going to be bubbles forming on this. And that's okay. We'll get rid of it. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome.
probably shouldn't be doing this in two pours like that, but oh well. I didn't realize um, how much was in the syringe because I'm used to pouring the uh, Envirotex. And there's a lot more in those bottles than there are in the uh, syringe for ice resin. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love this class. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm just kind of pushing it to the outside. I might as well use up the whole thing. <laughs> what are you talking about, Dar? <laughs> Are you mocking me? <laughs> oh. All right, I think that's good. Got it all around the edges. Not quite domed, which is fine. I didn't want it necessarily domed. I just want to make sure that the whole thing is covered and that any, it's a section here that isn't. Uh, because the plaster is a little uneven, of course, I've etched it. It's going to self-level. I did sand this before, for those of you who know resin. I did sand it down first before I stamped. Oh, my gosh. I'm loving Oh, you can really see the glare from this. <laughs> the um, lamp now. Hold on. Let me take it away. Can you still see it, though? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get it so you can't see the bulb. <laughs> oh, now I've knocked the... Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to... How long does it take to set? It will be definitely overnight. Ah, thanks, Star. Hey, Wendy. And I'm just going to take a barbecue um, lighter and just the heat from the lighter gets the air from the resin up through. So it'll pop any bubbles that are in there. Pop, pop, pop. I don't know. Can you guys see the bubbles popping? Sorry, I've got flame. I can't talk and flame at the same time here. At least talk and read and flame. I'm not sure if that's a bubble or if that's a fleck of um, something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Murano glass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fleck. That's a that's a a fleck from the glitter. Oh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You don't see even see the bubbles. They're, they were like really, really little, 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 little bubbles. Like itty bitty, itty, itty, itty bitty bubbles. But I don't see any. any well, maybe there's one right there. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, there's another one right there. It's gone. Right there. Right there. If you look at it from different angles, you see it. Actually, it looks pretty good now. It looks pretty clear. Yahoo! Hello! Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad to be back, too. <laughs> All right, so let me see if I can... I'm taking the light away. 
And I know that's a bad thing um, because it got dark on you. But let me just see if I can zoom this in a little bit. So that you can see it. Hold on one second. You do. Oh. It's not letting me zoom in and hopefully I didn't. Oh, I just froze. That's not good. All right, so I know you could probably hear me, but I just froze. So I'm not sure um, where I'm gonna go with this now, but you can at least see it. I am going to, I will post the finished product of this. And if you are in Edmonton, um, if you are in Edmonton next week and you wanna take a class, come and take the class with me because I am gonna be teaching Plaster Luminescence class at the Creative Stitches show. Um, that's hosted, the uh, part that I'm there is hosted with the Canadian Scrapbooker. So um, uh, come on, if you look on their site, you can get to the class information. And I will probably post that as well when I post this tomorrow. Yes, if for, I know you can hear me because I can still see the volume control moving, but that's good. Hello, Vaughn. How are you? Waving at you. So I will, um, I'm just going to refresh this. If I, um, I'm going to stop the record. For those of you who are watching live right now, I will refresh my screen. So you may lose me. And, um, but I will be back. Okay. So I can show you. Oh, I just, a bubble came up. <laughs> so I can show you um, the piece hopefully a little closer, okay? All right. So, yes, it would make awesome decorative coasters. Absolutely. All right. So thank you for joining me. For those of you who are watching the live broadcast, thank you so much. And uh, feel free to drop by my website, theArthousestudio.ca. I'll post all these and uh, my YouTube videos as well will be up there on the site. So thank you again. And we'll see you in a couple weeks, but for sure. But there might be a surprise one somewhere. So watch your tweets. <laughs> okay, everybody. Have a great evening.